Sunday morning. Guess what time it is, Benny? Time for a garden tour. Get your coffee. So here we are at the potatoes in our little laundry baskets there. And on to the strawberries. Look at this nice little patch of strawberries there. And some more back on that plant. So we've been getting a couple strawberries here and there all summer. And then we have a cucumber here that was a volunteer. That looks like, I don't know, I don't see a, any cucumbers on there yet. There's a little bit of time. Then we'll move on to our tomatoes. that nice bunch in there and I do think there's some more we have a ripe one right around the corner here look at that and here we go look at those marigolds how beautiful they perked up those dead ones there. What we'll do, fall plant of spinach along here. So that's looking nice. And of course we have the corn. It's all looking good. And our newly planted radishes. Let's see if we can get a radish out of this somewhere along the way. As you can see, I just toss my kitchen scraps out here. Um, I don't have a composter. So this is what we do for now. Um, what do we have back here? Our banana peppers. There we go. Nice grouping there. And here's our bee balm. Last week I clipped some of this to dry. I have it hanging in the kitchen drying. And let's check on the corn in here. You can see. That's going to be a nice little ear of corn right there. And our miracles. The bell peppers are starting to come on here. We got some, where are they? There we go. And down below here. Nice little bell peppers. That one's got one on, and I'll show you. One of them has a, a purple pepper. I don't know how that occurs. Here is our regular mint. That's filling out a little better than it was last week. But here's our purple pepper. Not sure what that means, but it's pretty neat. And our carrots over here. The greens are looking pretty good. Not sure if we have some actual carrots grown. I'm not the greatest with the root vegetables. I think our ground, the soil, isn't the, the best. But we're going to improve on that each year because I will be doing another garden. It was fun. It's fun to come out and see how things grew from week to week. And uh, I have lots of ideas for next year and other things I want to plant. So, let's see if I could find a nice grouping there. Look at the green beans. 
these did pretty good. I'm going to do a little harvest of green beans today. And back here we have our treasure chest. We have in the front is the kale. And there were a couple lettuce seeds. I'm not sure if the lettuce is coming up or not. Kale. And in the back there we have the peas. And here comes our garden cat, Benny. Being distracted by the bugs. And here's our echinacea and some zinnias, which I just planted a couple weeks ago. And right in here, finally a nice cucumber growing. pumpkins back there which I have yet to see a pumpkin on them but the vines are nice and nice big flowers we got the bees all around and a Benny cat checking the perimeter and here's our zucchini we got a little one there. This next one has a little bit bigger one on. I'll let it go for a little bit yet. I think I'll harvest that. Our cherry tomatoes. We got no ripe ones on there yet. So, there it is. This is my first time having a nice size garden like this. Last year I tried to do the two little swimming pools and it worked. Things grew but they didn't thrive and uh, this year I think we did better. So if we can improve every year. Here's our lemon balm. here it is today's meager harvest we have a nice ripe tomato and a couple of peas that's it for this week's garden tour i hope i've inspired a couple of you to get out there and try growing things yourself even if you're inexperienced like me it can be done and we really didn't put a lot of money into the garden um just the cost of the seeds really tilled up the ground and put the seeds in. Some of them I started indoors beforehand. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.